Now, can you guess which tense I'm using here to talk about my last weekend? Yes, the past simple tense. We use the past simple tense for a complete action in the past before now. Like I met my husband in 1993. Or for events that were true for some time in the past. Like they lived in Russia for three years. Or for a list of completed actions in the past. Like Ryan came in, took off his coat and sat down. Or for habits in the past, like when I was a child, I played the piano. We have two kinds of verbs, regular verbs and irregular verbs. About the regular verbs, just add D or ED or IED. With verbs that end with E, just add D like live, stare. With verbs that end with a vowel and Y, just add ED. And with verbs that end with a consonant and a Y, just cross the Y and add IED. And we have verbs that end with a consonant, vowel, consonant like nod, rip, commit, prefer. Just uh, double the last verb and put ed. And here are the irregular verbs, the verbs that uh, change completely or remain the same. We have many verbs here like sing, sang, where, were, drive, drove, burst, burst. Okay. Here's some irregular verbs. Can you guess their base four? The form of the past simple. As usual, we have uh, three forms, a positive form, negative form, question form. For the positive form, we have talked about uh, two kinds of verbs, uh, the irregular verbs and regular verbs. Uh, with the negative form, we just uh, add didn't and the base form of the verb, of the main verb. With the question we're, uh, form, okay, we have here yes or no question. So we have to uh, start our question with did and the answer will be yes, I did or no, I didn't, for example. With the WH questions, uh, we have, for example, when, where, who, we have to add did after the WH word as a helping verb, then the subject, uh, then the base form of the verb, then the rest of the sentence. Like, when did the ambulance arrive? Where did the accident happen? Who did you call?